Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about Godavari River. The Godavari River originates in Trimbakeswar, Nasik of Maharashtra. It flows through Telangana, Chhattisgarh, in territory of Pondicherry and Andhra Pradesh before flowing into Bay of Bengal. Godavari River is 1465 km long, making it fourth longest river flowing through India after Brahmaputra, Indus and Ganga while it is the second longest river flowing within Indian territory after Ganga river. The Godavari river basin covers an area of 3,12,812 square kilometer, making it fourth largest river basin for the rivers flowing through India. However, it is the third largest river basin within Indian territory after Ganga and Indus river. Godavari's river basin covers approximately 9.5% of total geographical area of India. Godavari's river basin includes Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka and Union Territory of Pondicherry. In terms of length, catchment area and discharge, Godavari is the largest river in peninsular India and therefore it is called Dakshina Ganga that is Ganga of the South. Now let's discuss the course of Godavari River. Godavari River originates in Western Ghats from Brahmagiri Mountains at Trimbakeswar in Nasik district of Maharashtra. The famous Sri Tambakeswara Siva temple is located in Trimbak city. About 25 km below Nasik is the confluence of Godavari and Dardna River. Further downstream, the Godavari River meets Banganga River flowing from northwestern direction. Further downstream after Banganga, Kadwa River meets Godavari. Kadwa River increases the water content of Godavari River. Godavari from Nasik enters Ahmednagar where Pravara River meets Godavari. Pravara River rises and flows within Ahmednagar district. The Pravara River originates from Harishchandra range. Within Aurangabad, Jayakwadi Dam is constructed on Godavari River. The Godavari River passes through boundary of Jalna and Bead districts and meets Sindhpana River in Parbani district. Sindhpana River originates in Bead district. Majalgaon Dam is built on Sindhpana River in Bead district. The Sindhpana River meets Godavari River in Parbani district. Within Parbani district, Purna River along with its tributary Dudna meets Godavari River. The Purna River is a major left bank tributary of Godavari River originating in the Ajanta Range in Oranga district of Maharashtra. The Purna River in Parbani district meets Dudna River and then the combined stream of Purna and Dudna meets Godavari River. On border of Maharashtra and Telangana, Manjara River joins Godavari. Manjara River originates from Balaghat Ranges in Ahmednagar district. The Manjara River flows along the northern boundary of Usmanabad district. Here, Manjara Dam is constructed on the Manjara River. From Usmanabad district, the Manjara River enters in Latur district. In Latur district, Manjara River meets with Tarna River. From Latur district, Manjara River enters Bidar district of Karnataka, where Kanjara River meets Manjara River. From Bidar, the Manjara River enters Telangana in Sangareddy district where Singu Dam is built on Manjara River. In Sangareddy district, the Manjara River changes its course from east flowing to north flowing river. From Sangareddy district, the river flows through Medak district and enters Kamaradi district where Nizam Sagar Dam is built on the Manjara River. During the final stretch of Manjara River, it forms the boundary between Nanded district of Maharashtra in the west and Nizamabad district of Telangana. The Manja River along with Haridra River merges with the Godavari at the border where Dharmabad of Maharashtra is on the west side and Kandakurthi in Telangana is on the east side. The meeting point of these three rivers is called Triveni Sangam. After the confluence of Manja River with Godavari River, the Godavari River enters Telangana in Nizamabad district. Here, Sri Ram Sagar Dam is built on Godavari River. The Godavari River flows across Telangana to reach Jai Sankara, Bhupalapalli district where Maner river joins Godavari. Maner is a right bank tributary of Godavari. Within Jai Sankara, Bhupalapalli district, 
Pran Hita River meets Godavari River. The Pran Hita River is a combined stream of three rivers, Pen Ganga River, Varda River and Ven Ganga River. Hmm. The Pran Hita River begins at the confluence of Varda and Ven Ganga Rivers. This confluence lies on the border of Maharashtra and Telangana. Pen Ganga River originates in the Ajanta Ranges in Buldhana district in Maharashtra. The Pen Ganga passes through Vasim district, Hingoli district, Nanded district and finally Yavatmal district. In Yavatmal district, Isapur Dam is constructed on Pen Ganga River. Adan River meets Pen Ganga River in Yavatmal. The Pen Ganga River finally merges with Varda River in Chandrapur district of Maharashtra. The Varda River originates in Satpura ranges in Betul district of Madhya Pradesh. Varda River enters in Maharashtra in Nagpur district. And then the river flows through Varda district where Vuna River joins Varda River. The Varda River then enters Chandrapur where it meets Pen Ganga River. The Varda River further flows to meet Ven Ganga on border of Chandrapur Maharashtra. Ven Ganga River originates from Mahadev Hills in Sioni district of Madhya Pradesh on the southern slopes of Satpura range. Bhimgar Dam is constructed on Ven Ganga River in Sioni district. The Ven Ganga enters Maharashtra in Bhandara where Bhavanthadi River meets Ven Ganga. The Ven Ganga River enters Nagpur where Kanhan River merges with Ven Ganga River. Kanhan River originates in Chindwara district of Madhya Pradesh and it flows into Nagpur district. Within Nagpur district, Kanhan River is joined by Penj River. Penj River also originates in Chindwara district and passes through Penj National Park. In Nagpur district, Totla Do Dam is built on Penj River. The Penj River joins Kanhan River in Nagpur district and then the Kanhan River joins Ven Ganga within Nagpur district. Ven Ganga reaches Chandrapur where Andhari River joins Ven Ganga River. The Andhari River flows to Tadoba Andhari National Park. The Ven Ganga further flows in Chandrapur and joins Vardha to form Pranhita River. The Pranhita River flows for a short course of 130 km strictly adhering to the boundary between Maharashtra and Telangana. The Pranhita River meets Godavari in Jaisankar Bhupalapalli district. Downstreams of confluence of Pranhita and Godavari, Ichampalli Dam is built on Godavari River. Within Jay Sankar, Bhupalapalli district, Godavari River merges with Indravati River. Indravati River originates from Kalahandi district of Odisha on the western slopes of Eastern Ghats. Within Kalahandi district, Indravati Dam is built on Indravati River. The Indravati, during its course, is joined by tributaries like Bhaskel, Narangi, Boding, Nibra, Kotri and Bandia. Indra River passes through Indravati National Park. Indra River flows downstream to meet Godavari River. Now, the Godavari River flows further and reaches Andhra Pradesh, where it is joined by Sabri River. The Sabri River originates in the eastern ghats in Odisha and flows in Andhra Pradesh, where it meets Godavari. Sileru River, also known as Machkund, is the major tributary of Sabri which joins Sabri River at the tri-junction boundary point of Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Odisha. Several dams have been built on Sileru River which includes Jalaput Dam, Bali Mela Reservoir, Upper Sileru Dam and Don Karai Dam. Now after the confluence of Godavari and Sileru, the river passes through Papikonda National Park in Eastern Ghats. Within Ileru District and East Godavari District in Andhra Pradesh, Polavaram project is under construction on Godavari River. Further downstream, Dovleswaram Barrage has been constructed across the Godavari River in Raja Mahindravaram. After Raja Mahindravaram, the Godavari splits into several branches. Two of the large branches are Gautami Godavari and Vasishta Godavari. The Vasishta Godavari further splits into two branches called Vasishta and Venatya. The Gautami Godavari also splits into several parts. These different branches of Godavari River form the Godavari Delta which is around 170 km long in Konasima district of Andhra Pradesh. The Gautami Godavari is the largest branch of Godavari River and it passes through Yanam enclave of Union Territory of Puducherry. The Gautami branch empties itself into the sea at Point Godavari. 
Now before merging into Bay of Bengal, the Godavari is considered to have seven important mouths or seven important distributaries. And these seven distributaries are named after the Saptarishis of Hindu mythology. These rivers include Tulyabhaga, Atreya, Gautami, Jamadagni or Vradhagomti, Bharadwaj, Kausika and Vasistha. The Godavari Delta along with the Krishna River Delta is a very important rice producing region and that is why it is called Rice Granary of South India. The Krishna Godavari Basin is also a nesting site of endangered olive ridley sea turtles. The Godavari River is connected with Krishna River by Pullavaram right bank canal. Moreover, the Kulleru Lake lies within this delta and the Kulleru Lake is connected to both the Krishna River and Godavari River via a large number of canals. Along the Godavari Delta, there is Koringa Mangrove Forest and it is the third largest mangrove forest in the country. It is renowned for reptiles. I hope you have learned all the important details of Godavari River. If you have any doubts, then please ask it in the comments. If you have liked the video, then do share it with your friends. Thanks for watching the video.